I'm Anna Dominguez and I'm the queen of tape. I create all of my pieces strictly out of just tape. When I graduated, I moved to the city and I was just kind of restless to find a new medium. Uh, I was kind of burnt out from the painting and the drawing. And I went to the art store and at that time they had four rolls of tape only. And I bought them not knowing what was going to be the outcome. And I started just to lay it down in canvas. And the first piece I created was a Chicago skyline. And it was really mosaic, really in order. And like 10 years later, I'm doing faces. I've been an athlete my whole life. I'm really inspired by athletes, male and female. It's usually who I look up to most. A lot of my athletes have been women. I'll be inspired by you know current events that are going on or future fights that are going to be on, like the Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor fight that happened. I'm standing in front of a Serena Williams piece that I created. I created this after the whole controversy, I believe, after the French Open that she had with throwing her tantrum and really got my attention. So she inspired this piece. Her hair is full of words of empowerment and I thought it was important to put the words and translate them in nine different languages because I feel like we're trying to empower women everywhere, not just here in the States. I believe the first type of tape that I had was masking tape. And then I discovered duct tape. And through the years, the tape company has basically stepped up their game now. There's like, I think over 48 colors. Just Serena alone, like there's duct tape, there's packaging tape, which if you layer and layer, it gets darker and lighter. There's like glitter tape that they have now, and like this film tape, which is like really shiny. So the variety of tape that I get to work with now is amazing, as opposed to 10 years ago when I was like, hmm, what should I create with these four colors? Art has been in my life since I could remember. The first time I started using art was when I was in my foster home. My sister and I went through seven foster homes a year. At that time, I started to use it as a therapy. And one of my foster moms, probably my favorite one, was very big in art. And she really inspired me also to like just keep up with it. But it's still a form of therapy for me. It's very important in my life, and it'll always be. I try to like find different things or different ways to create art and I finally found that kind of stuff. So oh funny stack like too. <laughs>